welcome back to Return to Shimagutsu Island, where I said I was going to freaking read the last thing. I thought if we walk around and stuff like that, then my anxiety will turn up all right in my stomach there, and I'll die. Ah, you'll be fine! Still better than a hole in your head, isn't it? But don't worry, I won't let you carry it around. Oh, wait, wait, no, wait, why? Why did I go back? Why did it go up there? Now you know the time. Eh, don't worry, I won't ask. Alex, catch! You're in charge of carrying the bomb. With, with you, Rahel and I are in charge of combat. Uh, well, me? Yes, you! Who else? For Geneticko ain't gonna carry it. She's gonna be too fucking anxious and might detonate it. Killing herself in the process. Alright, uh, I know I can't refuse. I'm not, but I'm afraid Rahel is. Uh, Rahel, is this uh, thing want to explode? Will it? I can't be a hundred percent certain. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I should be safe, probably. <laughs> Damn it! Just tell Alex that it won't explode yet. Unless you want it to. <laughs> what am I supposed to die from? Well, don't worry. You're most likely fucking dead because that's Machina. You. Let's see. You in charge of screaming. Screaming and making everyone nervous. I know you can do it. <laughs> do you anything better you ain't gonna be carrying a firearm because how you're gonna act Alex is the only one carrying the bomb and you have intelligence it's the only thing you can't have I'm like that's actually kind of useful to have in random ass fucking situations Just kidding! What is that else do you suspect? You haven't done a whole lot, but give us information. <laughs> Somewhat relevant and kind of useful information. Just a Nitika. I'm still counting on your abilities. Your knowledge and memory will always come in handy, and I'm glad you're here. Glad you used my skills. Oh. I can be my skills. Perfect! Don't, 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 don't worry, because I'm always right beside you. Just don't get in my way. Bitch, you're the one that gets in my way! What's the difference? <laughs> I don't even know if I. Right. I don't even remember. That's how many hours it's been. I'm glad to hear that. Oh. <laughs> I see you're doing your part already. Hey, no time to joke around. I heard, I heard that an explosion very close to, to here. Could that have been an explosion on the iron door? Could that be an explosion at the iron door? I'm worried about Akira. Let's go find her. Oh. What? The iron door on the side of the guest room building has been totally blown to pieces. The explosion also destroyed half the wall. 
So, there really was an explosion. Explosives planted on the iron door. We definitely would have died. An instant, in an instant, if we opened it up. Well, no fucking shit. But why did the bomb detonate? No, uh, detonate now. Did it have a timer? Perhaps. It was wirelessly linked to the bomb. Or in your room. It might have been dis deactivated with the link. But the bomb was broken. And so it detonated. I see. Perfect, now there's one less wall in Salem. Oh, well, part of Salem. I see. It looks like there is less damage over the main building. The lights are still on. There's a will. There's a will as well. <laughs> Failing to speak. The blast could have been directional. Yeah, that that is highly possible. I have dudes kind of just do like a cone ish, or bowl like shape, and it would kind of just blast in a singular direction. It would still go other places, but yet it would be focused more in one side. The blast, the, perhaps it was movement only to destroy the iron door. It appears the explosive was quite a advanced as well. Good. Now we know who to target. I hope Akira, Akira is safe. She might be dead. Yes. She's probably hiding somewhere. I guess this is hostile territory now. Should watch ourselves. Akira, are you in here? Are you here? It's me, Ikeda. I'm here to help. No, 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 this time. Shh. I just heard a voice over there. Behind the bar counter. Careful. It's not necessary. Akira's voice. Uh, the creature could be hiding there. You're right. She looks like she's freaking having a mental fucking breakdown. Akira, you're safe. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Wrong voice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I promise. I I'll go. Please don't leave me here. Are you freaking having a mental fucking breakdown? What the hell? We know you brought her here, but yo, chill the fuck out. She's our main target at the moment. <laughs> Not you. We can deal with you later. <laughs> hey, are you alright, Akira? His eyes are rolling in her sockets. She doesn't appear to be aware of us. Looks like she's in a state of extreme shock. Well, uh, at least she's okay. Kinda. I'd rather have a character be in, in an extreme shock over fucking dead. <laughs> and I have to keep them alive. They might not be safe. She might have shit ton of stress later and might be having problems later on, but who cares? She's she'll be fine. Not that they can figure shit out, but she'll be fine. No wonder she was betrayed by she was betrayed by Gesso, who she trusted and was abducted by that creature. I shake Akira's shoulder and call her. Akira, are you alright? You'll be alright. We won't leave you behind. Don't worry. 
Hey, Ikaza! Is that really you? Oh, no fucking shit! I'm right here! Who else gonna be the sassy motherfucker who's gonna be freaking insulting you while saying that I'm not near you? Or near you, I don't fucking know. <laughs> yes, I came here to save you. Plus, we got a FBI agent, you should be fine. <laughs> Please don't leave me alone. I'm being alone is so scary. I don't want to be alone. You'll be fine. We'll leave you with Nanako. <laughs> Okay, that's just mean. That's just mean. Why would I leave her with Nanako? She, uh, something happens, Nanako will most likely freeze and won't know what to do. Never leave you alone again, I promise. So we throw you onto a plane and throw you back into your own damn country, but at that point, that's it. Unless you want to join my agency. <laughs> really? You promise? Yeah, I promise. Trust me, alright? You're fine. With me. As we have Ikuda slowly growing hair. <laughs> Wait, god damn. I swear, Ikuda. I was really, really scared. Shit, you got abducted by a monster. Guess who betrayed you? You're all alone in a dark room. I can understand why when you could also feel like you're about to be killed at any fucking moment. Perfect reason to be freaking scared out of your fucking mind. I can't believe you, I guess so. But that pay betrayed me. I, I, I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> Although Gessel was the killer, she tried to save you at the last moment. So don't be so sad. She was fucking betrayed. She's not gonna freaking trust Gessel that is easily anymore. Saving a car, a carica, a carica, wouldn't have done her any good. She's a cold-hearted killer, but she's been with Akara for so long that she must have had feelings for her. Reasonable. But I guess I left me behind. Gessel's eyes, they were so cold. Uh, it's as if they didn't even want to look at me. Well, there's reasons. Gessel was torn between saving you and abandoning you. Don't you get it? When you, when she took you, that was out of her, out of affection. You would have, you would have died with, with us if the bomb had exploded. But this might have been her last act of kindness to you. Don't expect anything else from Gissel. She's a ruthless killer. You need to understand that. You can find another subordinate that will listen to you. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Okay. You will have to rely on yourself. From now on, Akara, if you don't, you'll die for sure. Akara and Gessel would kill me too. I would be so heartless. Well, no fucking shit. What do you expect Gessel to do? She's most likely highly trained. How the fuck am I supposed to know this? She tamed a monster, and surprisingly is ready to kill anyone on a whim. <laughs> Rahel is being rather harsh, 
harsh, but she might be right. Um, it makes the most logical sense. You, oh, that is true. Not the most rational if you're trying to spare someone's emotions, but it makes a hell of a lot more sense. You would have a re you'd have to rely on yourself. Now, I'll help you stand up as much as I can. Get up, Akara. Now's not the time to be now it's time to be strong. You have to be a strong woman. Don't lose hope and uh, in a place like this. Unless you're a fucking legal adult as far as I know. I just look like it. Please change. I'm not going to question that. <laughs> yes. And from here, I think it's the best time to kind of end the episode. So, I hope all you guys have a great... Love that, and a great day too. Well, I question what the fuck I'm gonna do. So, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, we can get more of what the fuck's going on next episode. So, see you guys next time.